Anyway, folks, back on the Boss Man Show, going to Bowling Green, Kentucky, Carpus USA, your friend of the show, Coach Tyson Hill with me on the Boss Man Show with the Hilltoppers on the hill up there, Bowling Green. Coach, love the polo, man. How you doing, buddy? Doing great, doing great. We're uh, about to start fall camp, you know, the submarine's about to go under the to the depth, so <laughs> I'll, I'll come back up for air in about six, seven months. So. I hear that, Coach. Well, let me ask you this, man. I can't, I look at looking at your stats, man. It's gonna be your fifth season here in Western Kentucky. Can't believe it's been that long already. I'll tell you what, time flies. Uh, this is a special place, and you know, like anything in life, when you're having a heck of a time and you're at such a good place like Western Kentucky, it flies. I can't believe I'm I'm going in on year five, but uh, it's been a pretty cool ride. We've had had a lot of successes, and uh, hopefully this year we can have some more. I was going to ask you about that. You've had nine wins throughout your four seasons there at Western Kentucky, and usually when I'm for a new head coach, that's rare. So talk about establishing that culture from the from the jump and getting the success from day one, getting nine win seasons throughout your four years there prior to this. Yeah, you know, I think it starts with we got a great athletic director, Todd Stewart. He does a great job of providing us all the resources we need to be successful. There's a great history here at Western Kentucky. You know, football is very important in this town, in this state. Uh, so all those things help ha build that foundation for when I came in. I do think it helped because I had been here before in 2014 and 15 as the offense coordinator for Jeff Brom. So I kind of knew the, the groundwork, knew what I was walking into. Um, but, you know, it's been a fun ride, man. It's been a fun ride. We've been very blessed to have a lot of good football players, a lot of elite football players. And as you know, good players make good coaches. So that that's why we've had the success we've had. And Coach Elton, talk about the fans of Western Kentucky. I know basketball and football there is so important. And just the fans support you all get up there, man. The, the crowd energy, man, how they support you on and off the field. Talk about how that community support is so important to a successful team like yours and on the basketball side, too. Well, we got a great fan base. Uh, you know, I love the fact we have an on-campus stadium. It's a great environment. People like being on campus. The tailgating scene is spectacular. Um, you know, obviously having a product out there that's entertaining and, and those things, that it helps draw the fans in. But our fans are behind us always 100%. And we've had some really close football games here that, that we've been able to win. And it was because of our fans. Uh, I think they really pushed us through. And uh, it's a cool environment to be in, man. You know, on campus here, uh, you know, especially early in the football season, everybody's excited uh, to get going in September. And it, it's it's been really neat. You know, we've had some great, great games here. And, and the fans have been really, really special. 100%. And Coach Baskis, man, for is your program, uh, Talk about the growth of your program for us, the people branding your program, seeing what you're about, national recognition. I feel like Commerce USA, what they're doing, man, you're growing the brand. Talk about how the brand of the Hilltoppers have grown even more by what you success you've had and what your conference, you're doing more things to get more teams involved as well. Yeah, you know, I've always said you want to be a part of the national conversation. In college football, you've got to be known something for something. So no matter where I am in the United States, they need to recognize that logo. They need to be able to say, hey, man, you play an exciting brand of football. We love watching the Hilltoppers play. You know, we're known as having exciting offenses, you know, but what a lot of people don't know is we were the number one takeaway team in the country on defense last year. And we were pretty exciting to watch on defense as well. But I think our brand is is getting recognized a lot more. You know, when I go out on the road recruiting and all those kind of things, people are stopping me and, and saying, hey, man, we love watching the tops. And I do think it's going to really help us this year. We got a new media package with CBS Sports, ESPN. We're going to do some of the weekday games, the Tuesday, Thursday games where we're going to be the only game on TV across the country. So if you're sitting at a Buffalo Wild Wings or you're you're out and about somewhere on a, on a Tuesday night or a Thursday night, you're going to get to see the tops play. And I think that's going to put us on a whole nother level. I think we already play an exciting brand of football, but I do think that's going to help us a ton. So we're excited about 
kind of that new format. And I think it's also going to help the conference tremendously. I look at the Mac, you know, they've done it for a couple of years and I think it's helped them. You know, Conference USA has always been known to play an exciting brand of football. There's been some great players that come out of our conference. And so now to be on that national stage week in and week out, I really do think it's it's going to allow our conference to take the next step. 100%. Because I feel like, Coach, you're on that national stage. It's, it's like a walking three-hour brochure for your, your university. Like, hey, come to West Virginia, come to Bowling Green. And like you said, I call, call you play coach. High energy football. I I love to fly around on defense, get takeaways. It's very exciting for me as a former football player by itself. So yes, it's a very exciting brand of football. They, your guys hustle. It's no loafing hardly on what your team, man. So I love seeing it, man. It's just and people should buy into what you're doing out there. What you're taking because tops do play exciting on defense and offense as well teams as well. Yeah, and I do think it goes back to the fans. I mean, our players have tremendous pride in in, in wearing that logo and being a top. And they want to make our fans proud. And there is a strong connection between our football team and the fans. And so when you're you're playing a lot more than just yourself and, and you know, you're play, playing for the history of this program, what the top stand for, what our fan base believe in. So um, it, it's been a cool ride so far. But we are definitely excited about this upcoming season, some of the new formats. A lot of good football teams coming into our conference. I, I think, you know, through the history of this conference, um, it didn't matter whether you were new, old, it didn't matter. It, it's, there's a lot of parity in our conference. I think you're going to see some exciting football played uh, this year. And so it allows, uh, our, again, it allows our conference to be on that national stage. And, and I think people are going to be excited to see it. And you all are at Kennesaw State next year. You've got – Sam Houston and New Mexico State this year. And I mean, like I said, those those teams are coaches with great history, play a certain way. And I feel like that's going to make it any, 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 even better. And with this conference realignment world that we all live in, you never know what could happen. So I feel yeah. like you're, you're in a perfect position to get even better. Like, like Sunbelt's got kind of built themselves up now. So I feel like you could be the Sunbelt, you could be that group of five conferences competing because I feel like there's this opportunity there with all these schools doing what they're doing. Yeah, and, and, you know, another school is Liberty that's coming in this year as well. And, and man, they're a great program. And so we're excited to have them come on board. I think, you know, New Mexico State's going to be really competitive right out of the gate. Sam Houston has a great history of winning uh, behind them. So, you know, you're looking at a lot of good football teams that are joining this conference. That I think from right out of the gate, there's going to be a lot of parity for sure. And, you know, I, I looked at your roster. You have a lot of kids from Georgia on your roster. And now with the Kennesaw coming to the conference, how does it affect you when you go down to recruit Georgia no more and say, you're, we can get you back home every other year now because of them coming to our conference. It is getting the talent out of Georgia that, that can play for you, not that far from home, and come play up there. Parents come, come see their kids play at Western. Well, definitely Georgia's our number one recruiting base for sure, uh, particularly the Atlanta metro area. Um, you know, we've had a lot of really good football players come out of there. It does, like you say, it definitely helps, you know, our guys to know that their family is going to be able to come see them play, you know, in their hometown. We're excited about Kennesaw uh, joining the conference. I've been there several times. they got a beautiful campus uh, excellent facility. So I, I think, again, they're going to be a really good football team. But it does, like you say, it does help us a lot when we're sitting in those homes and recruiting those young men that, you know, you're only four and a half hours away in Bowling Green, which they they like that. I think they love living in Bowling Green, Kentucky. They love that true college experience that we have here. Our campus is beautiful. Um, but at the same time, it's nice for your family to be able to see you play without, you know, having to get in the car and travel. So I do think it will benefit us in the long run, especially in recruiting. Yeah, and I forget about I forget about your rivals at middle. So, yeah, you, you can see your kid play at Bowling Green, middle, and at Kennesaw right close there at you. So in Jacksonville right. State, too, it's 100 miles away. So it's like covered, like it's, it, it works for kids yeah. from Georgia. For, you can come easy, easy drive to see your kid play. Yeah. And it, you know what? And and be honest with you, all our our guys that come uh, from Georgia, their families love coming up here. They they love making that ride. It's not it's not a long ride for them. Uh, you know, we're an hour outside of Nashville, 
you got the best of everything up here and you got Nashville, you know, right down the road. So I've found that that families really just, you know, they it's almost kind of like a mini vacation for them. You know, they 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 love coming up here and seeing, you know, their kids play. So it'll be good. It'll it'll be a win win definitely that they can go back in their home state. You know, there's there's tremendous pride when you get to play in your home state and, and you know, and your family gets to see you. Um, so it, it should be good. And I think in the long run, it will benefit us. And coaches, camp starts tomorrow. Um, how much of the camp will you kind of split it between your sales and the install versus getting ready for South Florida that first, first, first week on September the 2nd? You know what? College football has now you're, you're training year round now and our and players really they have a pro mentality. And so all summer, you know, they have their PRP practices. You know, we can't be out there with them, but they're basically practicing themselves, uh, you know, all summer. And so it really gives us an advantage when we, we get into fall camp. We take that first week. We really focus on ourselves that first week, but it allows us to be way ahead of the game. Uh, not like the old days when you were doing two days and everybody's got to get back in shape. I mean, they're in tip top shape. They've been practicing ball on their own all summer. So we focus on ourselves for a week and then we move into the opponent and not only our first opponent, but really our, our first three or four opponents will, will try to uh, each practice spend some time on those opponents as well as continuing to focus on ourselves. But um, I've been very impressed with our guys, man. They got such a pro mentality and I know they're excited to, to start camp and, and get going for sure. 100%. You have a great non-conference schedule, South Florida, Houston Christian, my buddy uh, Braxton down there, Ohio State on Fox and, and, and John down there at Troy. So you have a, Four games to prepare you for that conference USA slate. Uh, talk, 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 talk about those uh, games right there, man, and how it's exciting for you for your fans as well. Yeah, the non-conference is, is the tough guy. I, I think South Florida is going to be a really good football team. I think it's going to be a tough opponent right out of the gate. It's what college football is all about. We get to be at home. You know, you everybody will be excited about that first game. But, man, they, their, their head football coach and his offensive knowledge and the offense that they run, they're a good football team. Todd Orlando, the defense coordinator there, we faced Todd before. You know, he does a great job. And they got really good players. So right out of the gate, South Florida is going to be a tough game. Houston Christian at home, love the fact that we got, you know, back-to-back -back home games. Uh, so looking forward to that one and, and getting an opportunity to play them. Go to Ohio State in the Horseshoe, and I've been there a couple times. It's it's a fantastic place to play. I think our guys will be really, really excited about that. Then finish it off at Troy, man. Won the, the Sun Belt. They played us last year. They beat us last year. Uh, Coach does a great job with them. And so you look at those first four games, I mean, there, there are some tough quality opponents. we got to play really good football. we got to stay healthy. And then, you know, after that, we'll get into conference play. And that's why I would say to your team, you got to be really locked in from day one because we got a tough, a tough September. So we got to get in this camp and really be locked in on what we're trying to do and accomplish. Because I know those that September can make or break you in college football. We both know that's about tough and ready to go. Yeah, you know the biggest thing is is it's not a sprint; it's a marathon, right? So. You get through your non-conference and 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 hopefully you got momentum. But if you don't, the biggest thing is you need to stay healthy because the name of the game is winning a conference championship. You want to be in the running. You want to be playing for something at the end of the year. You know, you your last two, three games, it needs to mean something. You need to be saying, hey, we need to try to make it to the championship game and then position yourself to go win the championship game. So really that's the main goal for us. But there's no question, like you said, you want to get good early momentum, try to get some wins under your belt, build some confidence with the football team, and then get into conference play from there. Well, Coach Health was good to talk to you as always, buddy. And I hope to see you uh, this week when I'm in town up there, man. I'll be cheering for you. And if the schedule works out, man, I, I last time I got sick when I was going to see you all play, but hopefully this time it works out and I keep my health and come up there and enjoy that hilltop and fun on, on a good Saturday, man, up there, man. Well, we appreciate it. It's great talking to you again. Look forward to hopefully seeing you Thursday. Yes, sir. Go D time, buddy. It was fun as always, buddy. All right. We'll talk to you later. All right.